Well, millions of dollars fix our metro crime problem. Well, that remains to be seen if the governor's new public safety plan is approved. Our Mariel Mose joins us live this morning from the state capitol to explain where all that money would go and why they say they need so much. Elle? Well, Heather, Governor Walls says he plans to invest $300 million into public safety, but not just here in the metro. He wants to invest that money into every city, county, and tribe in the state of Minnesota with a police department and fire department. So that $300 million would be stretched across three years. So $100 million a year to all 292 cities, counties, and tribes. Each amount uh, that the city gets will be based on their population size. So the average Minnesota city would be getting nearly $200 $140,000 a year. But the state's largest cities, like St. Paul and Minneapolis, would get well over a million dollars a year. Governor Tim Walls and Governor Flanagan met with city leaders and first responders in Egan for a roundtable discussion about public safety. Egan is one of those larger cities receiving over a million dollars uh, from through this plan. The city's police chief says he hopes to invest that money in police recruitment programs and training, including recruiting more school resource officers. He also also would want to use that money to invest in mental health support for his employees. The chief says he knows that crime isn't quite as bad in Egan as it is in the two largest cities in the state, but he says that this investment would be a crime prevention tactic to prevent uh, crime from growing in their community. Our crime here in Egan, for the most part, is flat. But one of the things that we are experiencing and we are seeing is the trickle effect of some of the crime that's coming from the bigger cities or other communities into Egan. And we see an uptick in those numbers, which is an area of concern for me. And Governor Walz also announced another public safety initiative that started on Monday. For the next 10 nights, state troopers will be aggressively patrolling interstates in the metro that have seen some of the highest criminal activity. And just in the first night of this initiative starting, they've already seen 37 speeding, uh, speeding tickets, seven DUWI arrests, and they've even uh, found a stolen vehicle and connected it to a suspect that they believe uh, stole it. So they've already seen tons of results in just one day of this initiative. So th these investments are starting to pay off. Mm -hmm. All right. Marielle Mose live at the state capitol this morning. Thank you.